This will be a day that Greg Chalmers will remember for a very long time. The 2011 Emirates Australian Open and he's very pleased with it. What an occasion for him. His last victory was 2008 on the Nationwide Tour. He won his last Australian Open. The same year the Presence Cup was held. And let's head down to 18 Green for the presentation with Mark Howard, your Master of Ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen some wonderful golf this week. Thank you all for coming out to what has been a wonderful Australian Open. Now please give a warm welcome to the 2011 Emirates Australian Open champion, Greg Chalmers. It is Greg's second Australian Open. He was a winner back in 1998. And as I said, there's been some wonderful crowds this week. We couldn't have done it with all you coming out here and with some of the gentlemen on my right and left, so we'll just take a moment to welcome along the Honourable George Souris, the Minister for Tourism from New South Wales. A five-time Open winner who will present the Stonehaven Cup, Mr Peter Thompson. Beside him, Emirates Vice President Australasia. Emirates have done a wonderful job this weekend, Mr Barry Brown. Beside Barry, the Chairman of Golf Australia, John Hopkins. We continue to move along to the CEO of the PGA Tour of Australia, Mr Brian Thorburn. The CEO and Chairman and Commissioner of One Asia, they do a wonderful job, Mr San Chun. Mr Kevin Chandler, the President of this wonderful Lakes Golf Club. What a place to play golf. And the man from Tag Oya, the General Manager, Mr Philip Richards, ladies and gentlemen. It's now my great pleasure to welcome to the lectern, the Minister, Mr Souris. Greg, John and Tiger and Kelly, congratulations to you on turning this into one of the great days of golf that we have ever seen in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Congratulations to the Emirates Company. The Emirates Australian Open has been a great and wonderful event, double what uh, we anticipated, double last year's attendance, and uh, the cracker finish that we have seen uh, has made it uh, a most memorable day for us all. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, look forward to seeing uh, you boys play uh, more and more, and uh, we hope that you all come back to Sydney with these fond memories today. Come back to Sydney soon. All the best, everybody. Beautifully spoken, Minister. It is now my great pleasure to welcome up to the lectern the five-time Open champion, the three-time Australian Open champion, Mr Peter Thompson, to present the Stonehaven Cup to our 2011 Emirates Australian Open champion, Mr Greg Chalmers. And now from Emirates, Barry Brown to come up and present a $270,000 check to the winner. Beautifully done, Greg. We'll just get you to join us here. 
Congratulations. Tell us about what has become a wonderful day for you. Um, oh look, I, I'm going to kick off by saying there's every chance I'm going to cry at some point, so we'll get we'll get that out of the way. Um, but I really I want to thank Emirates, um, the New South Wales government, uh, for their continued support uh, of golf here in Sydney. Um, PGA Tour, PGA Tour of, uh, of Australasia, um, Golf Australia, and uh, all the volunteers. I did my best to dress like a volunteer today. I thought that <laughs> might help. Um, but really, for me, um, to be brutally honest, this is um, this is uh, about um, the people around me. Um, so I want <coughs> I want to thank my coach, Colin Swatton, my caddy. He may be a little bit chubby, but he's a very good caddy. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank uh, Neil Smith from Process Performance. Titleist continue to support me, and sometimes I wonder why, but they do a great job. And, uh, and of course, my family uh, back in Dallas. You talked about your family. It's, we can see what this means to you to win the Australian Open, to win your family. Your mum and your dad are out here, and a, a poignant moment on the green. You were, had one of your sons in your arms. I wouldn't have thought it gets much better than that, Greg. Yeah, I, I got the short straw. I got the really hard one to travel with. <laughs> my wife's got my eight-year-old back in Dallas. Um, he had to stay in school, but uh, I got my five-year-old boy. And uh, it'd be great if everyone could be here, but uh, you know, to have my son and my mum and dad's great. Thanks. It is wonderful to see how much this means to you. Can you just briefly talk us through the moment when Sendo's putt looked like it was rolling into the hole on the 18th? <laughs> it bloody looked like it was going in, Sendo. <laughs> You know, the, the irony is that um, my wife was over at John's house um, back in Dallas uh, earlier today having a chat and just having, and uh, you know, we all get along so well and uh, I, uh, I thought he was going to make it. I thought it was, it's a tough putt on this green, and, but it's certainly something to keep it high the hole. I thought it was a chance to go in, and, uh, but you know, he's, ba he's battled valiantly and uh, it's a great effort. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for an emotional and deserving 2011 Emirates Australian Open winner. Well, that warms your heart, doesn't it, yeah. Greg Chalmers, and just how much that means mm. to him and the processes he's been going through to try and make that happen. Uh, you know, he thanked all those significant people in his life and particularly his family. Yeah, fantastic victory. And it's always nice to share it with family and friends and to acknowledge the people in his camp that, uh, you know, have brought him back. He really had a couple of dry years. So uh, congratulations on his second victory. Yeah, he beat John Sennon by one, Tiger Woods by two. They finished first, second, third. Let's have a look at the Emirates shot of the day. We thought this uh, moment at 14 may have been the signature moment in the Tiger Woods comeback victory, but it wasn't to be in the end. A great eagle, nevertheless. Yes, after the poor bogey at 13, he really needed something like that and uh, had a chance for another one at 17 as well. But um, Greg Chalmers was rock steady. He made a couple of bogeys at 6 and 9, but the rest of the day uh, never misstep. All right, well, let's just uh, have a look at how the final leaderboard looked at the end of this championship. Chalmers over Sandon over Woods. Ogilvy, Scott and Watney shared fourth alongside Jason Day and Nick O'Hearn, but you know that Jason Day will get a chance again. And he might win the Australian PGA Championship, and you can watch that on Network 10, the 24th to the 27th of November. And we've got the Shark, Ricky Fowler, Darren Clark, Waya Yang, plus a host of other great Australian players in the field. Ian Baker Finch, uh, great to have you along. A terrific job. We look forward to seeing you up in Coolman. All the best next week. Thanks very much. It's been a great time with you, Luke, with Wayne Grady and uh, Howie, Murray, Gowie out there on the course, all the E's. We had a good time <laughs> and uh, looking forward to the Australian PGA in two weeks at uh, Coolum. Yeah, it's going to be a Cracker Jack tournament. All the best to everyone playing the President's Cup. To all the people behind the scenes here at Network 10, thank you for yet another fantastic job in bringing this tournament to the world. Uh, I'm Luke Elby. It's been an absolute privilege and a pleasure to host it. And uh, congratulations, Greg Chalmers. This will be a moment that lasts in the memory bank for a very long time. It's good night here from the Lakes.
Jerry's ending. Well, 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 well done. Look at this one. Oh, look at the young kid go. This is a beauty for Greg Chalmers. Sensational shot, but he's going to enjoy the moment. Powerful last for Chalmers. 13 under is the number. <laughs>